Welcome to day four. It's another gorgeous day at Castaway Key. Just coming into port. Today is the day we do bicycle riding, snorkeling, and we get to feed the stingrays. Hey Pam, what you got over there? Fruit, egg, muffin, and a hash brown. I got Mickey waffles again because you can only get Mickey waffles at Mickey places. And then I got uh, scrambled eggs, my food's touching, uh, with bacon and cheese in it, and then a hash brown, and uh, a blueberry muffin. I've been craving one of those. So, all right, we're right outside of Castaway Key. You can see us there. It's gonna be a good day. Good morning. Okay. Thank you. My girl's name is Sonora. I <laughs> tell you friends I had to Oh look at Bob Chadwick, master ship builder. Okay. Tomorrow dock. <laughs> well. We didn't get this picture yesterday. Let's get this one. but it's the first stop. Oh. Well, what do you want to do? If you're fine, I'm fine walking. Yeah, let's just walk it. That's good. Everything's open today. There's yeah. nothing closed according to the sign. It just said, welcome to Castaway Key. So that's good news. Yeah. Nice. Now we can explore a little bit today. It's warm today. It's really warm. <laughs> it's only supposed to get up to 79. But it's a humid 79. It's like you can feel the humidity. Welcome, Castaway Key. Oh, Pam's way ahead of me. She ain't fooling around this morning. Who? You. I said, Pam's way ahead of me. She ain't fooling around. No. Here's an ash urn. Just a bunch of rocks. Stingray Ray's Stingray Adventure. I think that's us. We're following the signs for the Stingray Adventure. Oh. Let me have your back. You get in there and pose. Hey, thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll trade you. <laughs> here's the next sign. I think we're close. <laughs> Oh, here's another sign. Stingray Adventure. Here's another sign. Stingray Adventure. We were told to pop a squat, so we're popping a squat right on Mickey. And then here's some information about the stingray. Southern Stingray, Poegic Stingray, Yellow Stingray, Spotted Eagle Ray, Spiny Butterfly Ray, and the Southern Eagle Ray, Southern Eagle Ray. Skates look like a ray, 
but lack a stinger. Okay, well that's good to know. Female rays can grow to six feet from wing tip to wing tip. The short nose electric ray is the smallest of its kind. It is the size of a pancake. Or is it the size of a komal? Hey Pam. Hi. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Just about? Yeah. Right here in my hand, this is what's known as a southern stingray. And the southern stingray is one of the six known stingray species found here in the Bahamas and the rest of the Caribbean. These okay. rays are so common around the key here, we are able to have up to 50 of them inside the lagoon and all 50 of our southern stingrays are females. Today we will be feeding them a nice mixture of shrimp, squid, and this little green block known as gel. And gel is just the vitamins, all the nutrients that these rays receive on a daily basis. Guys, if you have food inside your fist but you're not feeding the rays at the moment, we ask of you not to put your hands down by your side because something swims along with these rays and they will nip and pick up your hands. Can you guys guess what it is? What's in the water with, with the rays? Sand crab. Crabs? Crabs? Oh! No, I'm kidding. Fish. <laughs> Are you guys going to feed the fish? No. no. That's right. So what you want to do is put your hand up nice and high, far away from the fish. Right, guys? Right. Did they get it right? Right. All right. Wrong. What's in the sky? Birds. Birds. Get it out. Yeah. So the minute you do this one hand action, the birds are going to flock to your hand. They're going to pick. They're going to pick because they want to get it on the feeding. And are you guys going to feed the birds? No. <laughs> That's right. Now, did you have a pair of eyes? Right, guys? Wrong. They don't have any eyes. What? I'm kidding. They were very much. Always flip the stingray stinger or barb, all right? So this process absolutely does not hurt the girls. I typically do this every three months. And luckily for you guys, it has been two months and four weeks. So you have a good time. <laughs> These girls absolutely cannot hurt you, but there's a large chance of you being able to hurt the rays if you go in there running, stepping, and stumping. These girls are made up of the soft bone located on our nose called cartilage. So if you step on them, you can't hurt them really bad. And do you guys want to hurt the rays? No. no. That's right. So what we do is call a stingray shuffle. We keep our feet glued to the ground, sometimes buried underneath the sand. And if we have to move forward, we'll just shuffle forward. If we got to go back, we'll shuffle back. All right, guys? When the stingray come up, when it reach about this close, you slightly move your hand. You share with up. Hold it down on the back. This is Kelly. Hi. Hold it, hold it. Let go. Let go. Let's go again, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is Ren. Hold it down. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Thank you. Squid. <laughs> oh, you did get squid. <laughs> Did he find it? Yeah, she or she find it? That's the target, that's the target. She's going to put it in reverse. There you go. <laughs> Ah. 
Yeah, she did. Touch me again. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Thank you for Let me find that ramp again one more time. It's a wave, but it's not a wave. I know. I saw a couple big ones in here too. Thank you. you. Guys did a wonderful job with the Nile Swim with the Stingray. Definitely is remember to do the Stingray Shuffle because you don't want to. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What did you think of that? That was amazing. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? That was better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, a little yeah. scary. It was a little scary because of the waves. Yeah. And you're not, I mean, I've never fed a stingray before, so to put your hand underneath them. Uh, but and, they were so helpful. And then you could hear the... <laughs> yeah, sound like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Now we're going to go rent a bike. Well, we have already rented a bike, so we're going to go take advantage of that and then probably come back to the water a little bit because we still have an inner tube that we get to get on today and just float around yes all right let's go let's hit okay. it he waved to me yeah <laughs> i was behind you waving big too <laughs> i'm so happy he waved i was just thinking we haven't seen him uh we haven't made ourselves available but we haven't seen him since um 
We got on the ship. We got on the ship. He was there, and I haven't seen him since. And now we're on our way to the bike rentals. Yay! It's just a sea of umbrellas. Wow. To get your hair braided, because I look like I have a rat's nest on my head now. Uh, in the shade, which is games, there's like giant checkers and pool. Cool. Restrooms are that way too. Grouper pavilion, bike trail, and heads up bar. And still more umbrellas than you can shake a stick at. Never understood that. Shake a stick at. In case you want to know how much hair braiding is, short is $1.50 a braid, medium is $2 a braid, long is $2.50 a braid, corn row is $2 each, and hair wrap is $2 an inch. Wow. This way, this way! <laughs> so here's the lookout tower. International coat flags and pennants. This is part of the 5K. And here we are here again. Here we are here again. Waiting on Pam, I passed her up a little bit back. She'll be here shortly. Oh, she's in front of me again. <laughs> How'd that happen?
Oh, all of a sudden it's a race. <laughs> Once I told her we were almost there, I think she just put it into fifth gear and said, I can do it. And this is where we had lunch the other day, Serenity Bay Barbecue. Ooh. Here we are. Hey Pam, what you got there? The babies. Oh, cheers. It's because I, I did the stingray and I rode a bike for the first time in 40 years. I haven't ridden a bike in a long time. I mean, I know I own a bike, but it's been a while. Sebastian made your drink. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that makes it. Well, he mixed it. He even had it in a shaker. Okay. Hey Pam, what you got there? It's a shell. Look at that. It's heavy. Yeah, it's probably still something in it. Look at that. Yeah, there's probably still something alive in there. It's really heavy. I might have to zoom in on this, but there's the banana boat that was canceled the other day. Because of the wind, I'm assuming, yeah? Right. There's our friend from the other day. Or maybe this is our friend from... Nope, that's not our friend. Pam's way out there. And the water's still only up to her calf. She's saying she found a starfish. Ah, oh, she got it! Oh, she fell down. <laughs> she just wanted to get up close and personal. <laughs> Pam's way out there. Way out there. Let's see if she can hear me. Cookie! <laughs> Little mermaid, she's out there sunbathing. She heard me though. So I think this is 11 days out from my trip and fall. Still pretty swollen there on the left side. Bruising still there, but it's turning yellow. So it is better. Straight ahead it's easier to see the swollenness. Sure feels good in the water though, I'll tell you that. Yep. See where all that brown is? Yeah. As you come right where it's clear, that's a sandbar. And that's where I saw the starfish and that's where I sat down so it looked like I fell down. Yeah. yeah it looked like you fell down. I'm like, I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> <laughs> no choice. Hmm? No choice. No choice. This is where I'm sitting. I, I wanted to lay back, but I did not. Well, I had made a comment that you were so far out there and you're still barely up to your knees. Like, I know. And she's so far out there and barely up to her knees. It's amazing. Yeah, this is great. And to think we'll be back here in a few short months. Doesn't want to land. Did you see the little striped fish when we were feeding the um, manta rays? Yeah, I did. Uh, I thought it was an optical illusion because I only saw it for a brief second. Very brief. And uh, so I thought, man, I go, is, did I see it? Well, I thought I saw it. And then when I went back to go look some more, I didn't, I didn't see it anymore. It's 
kind of gross holding that octopus. I only got one. I only got octopus once. I got a huge hand. Yeah, you did. Uh, I mostly got shrimp and then that green stuff. The green stuff. And then I started breaking off the green stuff a little bit and started feeding the fish that were around me, the little tiny minnows that were around me. Uh oh. Because when they get bigger, then it becomes food for something else, you know. Yeah, yeah something's going on over there. Having a major feed. I wonder what they got going on I over don't there. Know. Somebody threw something out. I'm saying not to feed the fish. I mean the yeah, birds. Saying, mine, mine, mine. Yeah, I think I, just, I would. The ribs yesterday were really good. I'm gonna get me a couple more of those. Or not yesterday, but just seems like yesterday. Oh yeah. Good call. Warm Texas cornbread. Can I have one of those? Nice. You almost cleaned up your plate over there, Pam. Well, I had sauerkraut, which is my favorite. It was really good. I saw you get that, but you didn't get a dot dog. No, because I saw the chicken, and it was all white meat, and the chicken is amazing. Not dry, really good, and then I got fruit, and I got potato salad and macaroni salad. Yeah, I, like, I got the macaroni, I mean, you can't tell, but I got the macaroni salad too, but uh, it was really good. I didn't get the potato salad, but I tried yours. It was pretty good. And the fruit is ripe. It tastes mm -hmm. really good. And then, of course, now we have these gigantic cookies to eat. My rib was good. I only got one today. Um, my burger's good. It's just, um, I, I think I just ate too fast. Like, it's still sitting in my throat. But it's, it's not overdone pretty good. either. No, it's not. It's pretty good. A little pink in the middle. And I like this place a little better um, than Serenity Bay, only because I think I had told you they already had everything like ready. Like the burger, you just grab your burger. There's no picking up the lettuce, picking up the tomato, picking up your, you know, whatever. The only thing you needed to pick up was your condiment, which I just picked up ketchup, and you actually got that for me. And then the Texas um, bread that was there, which is there. It was sweet. It's sweet. I thought it was going to be more like a corn nugget, but it's like a sweet, uh, like you would put strawberries on it. Oh. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, ham and her bananas. Check this out. That's so pretty. Isn't that amazing? I didn't even see what they did to this. That's amazing. Oh, the slice fruit up on top, too. Just so you know, sand is the new snow. Ah, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Day. It was quite the day out there at Castaway Key. Uh, I look it, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm all red and <sighs> raccoon eyed, whatever. And what time is it? Like noon ish? I don't know, but we did a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of sun today. And we're going to take a break and then uh, set sail at 4 45. And I do want to be on board to hear the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I know. <laughs> It's a dream, it's a wish your heart makes. It is not. Anyway, we'll be back. Here's where Mickey has his hand on Minnie's booty. Did you see it? I was going to see it right now. Yep, Pam was right. Mickey has his hand on Minnie's booty. Hey, Pam, what you got? Chocolate ice cream. No, I got mango. Cheers. This is good. Go so around that way and we'll sit by coach.
we're back at Rapunzel's tonight. This is not going to be Pam's favorite menu. I can do. But I get to have tuna tartare and scallops. I've been waiting the whole cruise for this. I'm having charcuterie and the uh, lemon and thyme chicken. Nice. Tiny chicken. Mm -hmm. And dessert. I don't know if I want a Mickey waffle. I mean, a Mickey I mean, a waffle. Mickey, Mickey bar. Or if I want the creme brulee cheesecake. I'm thinking creme brulee cheesecake. I'm thinking so too. Oh, we're special tonight. We have goblets. Look at that. Nice. Front row table. Hey, hey, Pamela Faye, what you got over there? Charcuterie. Charcuterie. This is like a smoky. I don't know. It's a smoke. It's like a smoked meat. And then some sausage, pate, <laughs> and prosciutto. What's in the What's the dipping sauce? Honey mustard. I can kind of smell it. And then I got two tuna tartars. Looks like it's smiling at me. Just waiting for my soy sauce. Yummy! Oh! I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's alright. You can say hello back. Hey Pam Pam, what you got over there? Chicken, potatoes, and vegetables. Chicken sauce. With chicken sauce? Chicken sauce. Chicken sauce. I got scallops. But the show's going on. So let's watch the show. And let me introduce to you my cohort Their hands. <laughs> Show going on, but we got creme brulee. And Pam's got creme brulee. And let's remind ourselves we are in Rapunzel's royal table, not Flynn's royal table. And also, Rapunzel is much prettier than Flynn. So, dinner just ended. It was really good. It was really good tonight. Yep. The scallops was good. The show was funny. Mm -hmm. It was good. And here's our here's our waves as we head on into Nassau tomorrow morning. Rain is expected, but I don't know how much. I don't know how that's going to affect our our day. But yeah. we'll figure it out. All right, let's head on. To, okay, let's head on up to the room for a minute. Shall I? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, another wonderful